Good afternoon, everyone. This is Susan at Windmill Ridge Budgets and More, and I'd love to welcome y'all to the herd. If you're a returning subscriber, I'm so glad you're back. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. And if you're just popping in just to check us out, please go ahead and smash that uh, subscribe button, smash the like button, maybe even uh, give me a thumbs up or a like or uh, a comment, even if it's just an emoji. And if you think somebody else could use the content that we share, go ahead and share the video with, with others as well. So, I'm just now getting back to complete our 100 envelope challenge. I have what I need to complete it. We're going from 93 to 98 today. I know I need $88 to finish this. And I have 50 70 90 dollars so it gives me two extra dollars one can be for the ding 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 challenge which i will do later and my husband was going to join us uh, but as as life does sometimes do life happens and he is going to have to have a tooth extracted bless him so he is working his little buns off because we've got to work that in before we leave for our trip. So his uh, surgery basically is set for day after tomorrow. So I have completed our tracker. Normally, if we had done this the, the conventional way, this would be $5,050. But since we added these together, I have no idea how much it's going to be. So let me get my tea out of our way. I think I am just going to um, put these back into the box, these little envelopes back into the box because we don't need them. I'm going to bring this little baby over here, move that little baby out of our way. Let's see, how are we going to do this? Because I've got all denominations in here, y'all. So, what do you say we get to it? Let's see how much is in here. So, anyway, this has been so much fun. And you know what, folks? If you didn't think you could do a 100 envelope challenge because the numbers were just too big and it was just prohibitive, let's turn these over, um, you can do it the way I did it, where you add the numbers together. Um, like the four, I rounded up to five. Six, of course, was six. But then when you get to a bigger number, um, I just added them together. Nine, I rounded to nine. Ten was just one. If we added the two numbers together, it was just one. How about that? So anyway, it has been crazy around here. We've been going fast and furious. The estate sale people were here again today uh, trying to help us get rid of some things, uh, help us to make some decisions on some things. Our kids have s decided what they want. Uh, we need to get my daughter here to pick up what she wants. I think my aunt is gonna take a table that matches one she has, and so that'll take care of that. Um, but I want anybody who wanted something that, that was a family piece, I want them to be able to get it, if at all possible. You know, like my great-grandmother's quilts that I had. In fact, honestly, her quilts I had purchased at her estate sale after she passed. So, and my grandmother's, my grandmother said that if I'd have just said something, I could have just had them. But that was okay. I didn't want to, you know, step up and call dibs on something that maybe one of the other cousins might have wanted or whatever. So, I figured if it was in the estate sale, it was fair game at that point. So, so anyway, I mean, things do get a little touchy when it comes to um, possessions and belongings and, and all that good stuff. So, I just didn't want to cause any hard feelings. So, anyway, um, we're leaving next week to take the camper to Indiana. And it looks like the weather is going to be good. We've been watching the weather for a while now. And it looks like they're having weather very similar to what we're having here. Just not quite as warm. 
I don't know that we're going to hit that record high today or not. It was a, a record high temperature from like 1918 or something like that. So uh, if we knock that out, that, that'll be saying something. So anyway, so what's our guess? How much is, does somebody have a guess as to how much cash we're going to have here? This is going to be bananas. Absolutely bananas. How much is here? So I plan to start this all over again, y'all. This was so doable. This truly was so very doable. You know, if you do eight rather than 62, that is doable on just about any income. So if you thought you couldn't do it, yes, you can. You can do it. Oh, this is crazy, y'all. Crazy, crazy, crazy. My husband was asking me, so how, how much do you think is in there? And I said, you know, I don't know. I have no clue. Because uh, even though I added these and I could have added it up, a lot of them I rounded. So, I don't know how much is here. I do have my calculator with a tape. I'm going to break out the old-fashioned adding machine with a, a paper tape. Because this is just too much for me to try to count and keep track of. Just a count. I would be sideways quicker than me on an icy road. So, anyway. Oh, oh, yes, I almost forgot. I will be showing y'all, this is falling, <laughs> uh, a new Etsy drop. I've got some things coming into the Etsy shop um, that are just adorable absolutely adorable y'all uh, I've done a few things a teeny bit differently I've got some different type of products they're not scratch offs <gasps> I know right not scratch offs uh, I've been doing scratch offs for a while now and I love scratch offs um, but GB over income babes um, has been doing some things I love her build a farm and I'm gonna be doing the build a farm with her um, over the next, you know, I don't know how long it's gonna gonna run, but it's something else that I can um, can do over time, and so uh, we'll be doing that. But she had something on her page that I loved. It's a type of roll and save, and I made my own take on it, and so we'll see if you love it as much as I do. I had some ideas. I had um, some graphics that I just just love. I really, really like the, the B on the B Suite scratch off. And I was been itching to find another way to use that particular graphic. And I found a way. So I am just absolutely so excited. I have a couple more orders. Thank y'all so very, very much. And I believe one of them's from Lisa. She's a return customer. And I want to thank y'all so very much. Um, Kim over at uh, Bajan Girl did place an order as well. She's a first-time customer. And um, I'm just so excited that she does live close to me. Maybe we can do a get-together sometime. That would be so much fun. And uh, there's a few other makers in our area that I just think it would be a blast if we could all get together and share ideas and, you know, talk about, you know, things that people on YouTube talk about, I guess. Especially budgeters and cash stuffers and cash savers. So, anyway, I think that would be just tons of fun. So... Ooh, there's a lot here, y'all. I barely made a dent in this pile. Here we go. In you go. I wish my husband felt up to doing this. He is at work and has got so much to do, uh, trying to get ready uh, to go on our trip. We're taking our other two campers. Yes, I said two because we had bought some to rent out. Well, it's time to let go of those. So we have 
uh, an appointment over at a consignment place not too far from where we live and we've got to get those over to them on Saturday. Whew, there's just so much to do and I know he's going to be exhausted when he gets home and bless him. I was not going to say, come on, you know, when are we going to do that video? You said you wanted to do it. I'm not going to do that to him. He's got enough on his plate to worry about doing a video <laughs> with me. So anyway, here we go. Oh my gosh. Y'all, my heart's just a racing here. I'm gonna be very excited to do this challenge again. I also need to get to my book, my um, Make 2024 Your Best Year Savings book. Uh, I've got February that I'm still working on. I've got the no spend uh, to update you guys on and let you know how we're doing on that. We're really doing pretty well. Um, all in all, we have not really spent much, I think a couple of days um, that was not exactly budgeted for. Now I will say this dental work wasn't exactly budgeted for, but we do have an emergency fund for stuff like that. So anyway, yeah, that was not a super duper deal for him. The poor guy, bless him. He has been struggling with what we thought was some sinus issues. And, you know, it's, it's North Central Texas and it's allergy season and we're all struggling to breathe and all that good stuff. And um, he was saying that his tooth was just really bothering him. It was keeping him awake at night even. It was bothering him so much. So he was able to finally get into the dentist and they looked and took some x-rays and come to find out um, he had a, a major, major infection in the root of that tooth. The root apparently had a crack in it and then an infection had set in. So he's going to have to have it pulled and then they're going to do an implant to replace it. And um, it's, this is going to be a process of like nine months by the time they do the extraction and, you know, it heals sufficiently for the next step. And I mean, there's a whole outlined calendar uh, right now for this. So, whew. I don't know that you can tell what all we've got going here, but here we go. We're goodness. Okay, I think I can safely, maybe, start a new. Okay. The good news is, is he hasn't been, I guess it's the good news. I would say he hasn't been in, in just absolute agony, but at the same time, he hadn't been able to sleep real well either, so. But you know, we just push through. So, okay. Oh man. Y'all, look at all these fives, would you? Mm -mm -mm. I do wish that these fives had letters on them still. That would be amazing. Put those there. And I don't think there's any way to do this any faster without, you know, help. And y'all know I don't edit, so I would say I'll speed this up and bring you in when I get there, but you know, I really don't do editing. I might need to learn how to do that, but I don't really do editing. 
I'm sort of a one shot, one and done, unless something catastrophic happens. And then I may have to, uh, you know, start over, do a take two. But yeah, other than that, not so much. See, there was something else I was gonna tell y'all too. I've got some spare change here that we're gonna go over in, in a little while, not in this video. That's just too much to do for, for this one. This is enough to say grace over right here. There we go. Um, so we've got that to do, a little bit of work to do in our book. Um, kind of giving you an update already. Oh, that's about the Etsy drop. Got that to... Uh, together I have my new items made I still have to trim them and um, then I want to be able to play the games and show you how it works so I, uh, I'm very excited and I'll have them of course in digital download or a physical copy if you like uh, I am going to do something a little bit different though with them uh, I'm going to do a choice of A5 or A6. Normally, I do both in a, as a bundle, but these are a little bit different. And I uh, decided to do uh, a dashboard with it. And I'm thinking about including an envelope, too. So I think that may work out because there's some movers that are, is going to come with it, and a dice, of course, and unless you have enough dice and you tell me, please don't send more dice, I have more dice than I can say grace over, in which case, you know, I won't, so, ooh, y'all, we're getting close, we're almost there, I'm trying hard to hurry. I probably should have something to write on here as I am counting. I think, and rather than count it by the, what the denomination actually is, I think I'm going to just count how many are there, and then we'll just do the math and extend it. It may be a little easier than... Um, you know, keeping track of the 5, 10, 15, 20s. This really only took us a couple months to do. Well, maybe a little bit longer. Maybe a little bit longer. So, and I was very excited it came through this quickly. Um, that last $90 that I used to finish it off, I got from selling some stuff in the house. I um, sold some linens and um, we sold a little bit of furniture. And so, whoops, okay. Let's move this back. And so part of that is where that $90 came from. The rest of that is going to go um, to our games here after a while. Okay. Oh, y'all. I'm going to find something to write on. Y'all. I've never seen this much money all at one time. Those of you girls who can... Um, who are co completely 100% cash stuffers that do your whole, whole, whole paycheck, cash the whole thing, and then stuff it. Um, Y'all have a lot of money all at once. Mm. There we go. I usually don't because some of ours is digital. So we don't really have that. Okay. Let us see. What we have here. Okay, so we I've got a 50. Oh, we've got ones. Let's 
Let's see what I can do here. I have fives, tens, uh, a few twenties, and a fifty. All right. So I know I have one fifty. I have one of those, and that makes fifty. Here we go. I have three. And that makes 60. Okay. Let's get a little bit more sort quick going. Here's our tens. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27, that's 270, just add a zero, okay, this one I'm not, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 3. Is that correct? You know what? I've already lost count. I was trying to avoid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty, forty, Another group of 20. I'll just do them in groups of 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Nineteen twenty. Those are some nice new bills. And one, two. Okay, so we have twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a hundred, and two. One, oh, two. I'm not going to trust myself. One, oh, two times five. Is it right? nope. Okay, hold on. One, oh, two times five. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Ah! Okay, stop. 102 times 5. 510. I hit the wrong total key. 510. Here we go with all of our fives. My husband is going to absolutely have a cow. He wanted to know how much I thought was in here, and I, I just couldn't even estimate. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 20, 40, 60, 75. 75 ones at $75. Oh, y'all. Okay. Anybody done any quick math yet? Let's see. Okay, 75. Five, oops, that's not right. 510. I'm going to fat finger it. 270, 60, 50, 965 dollars. Holy moly, y'all. 965 dollars. Shall I add it one more time just to be sure? 75. Just to be sure. Yep. $965. I am blown away. You know where this is going. It's going to the high yield savings for my surgery. So, whoo, lousy me. Well, you know, I am going to take my 100 envelope challenge box and I am going to clean off this tracker and we're gonna begin this challenge again because this was fairly easy. It was a little here and a little there. It did take away from my games in my book, and it did take away a little from playing some of the challenges that I've gotten from other people. Um, but at the moment, I don't feel such the urgency to get this one finished, which I am glad for. Let's see if I can kind of come back out a little bit more. There we go. Uh, I was feeling really, really urgent to get this done because I just really wanted to see how much was there. So, there you have it. If you will add the numbers together on your envelopes, and instead of making it $54, make it nine. And in this case, I rounded it to 10. Not a big deal, right? Just round it to 10. It will come together quicker. Now, you won't have as much money because it's $5,050 if you do it where that $54 is actually $54. But you know what? $965 is nothing to sneeze at. That's better than a sharp stick in the eye for sure. So whatever you can do to save money, do it. You might think, well, I've just got $5. $5 isn't a big deal. I think I'll run through Starbucks because I deserve it. Yeah, you can go get Starbucks and it'll make you feel better for just a little bit. Or you can put it towards something like this or any other kind of savings challenge that you like. And next thing you know, you've got over $900, which is a whole lot better than a Starbucks. So until I see you in just a little while, uh, I'm going to get things together so we can do some cash stuffing. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, uh, be careful out there. Be safe. Love on one another. And I will see y'all later. Bye.